Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. It's amazing what a couple of wins can do for a football. Take the Dallas Cowboys, for example. Please. Just a few games ago, fans complained about the team's direction. Now, after a couple of wins and winning record, fans of media all fired up. At his weekly media gathering, Coach Jason Garrett was asked about winning the division. He took it from there. Uh, one of the things we do right uh, from the start, literally probably within the first 15 minutes of our first meeting, is outline what our big picture objective is. And uh, I think everybody in this league has the same goal. It's to be, the, uh, to be the Super Bowl champion. So you have to lay that out there right from the start. And then we quickly get into how we're going to do that. And uh, the way we do it is we really focus on each and every day, each and every practice, each and every meeting, and trying to be our best. Uh, and everything that we everything we try to do individually and collectively. Cowboys head to Washington on Sunday. Bad news day for the Houston Texans. They're seven and three in the lead division, but they've lost quarterback Matt Schaub probably for the rest of the regular season thanks to a foot injury. Houston with a bye this week. Matt Leinart will start their next game at Jacksonville on the 27th. It's a busy week over at Randall High School for a couple of playoff squads. The football team set for an area round game. The volleyball team set for another trip to the state tournament. They took a tussle with rival Dumas to do so, but it's the Lady Raiders' third trip in the last six years. Um, well, this team is, is different in chemistry, and of course we don't have the large size that we had in 09 when we won, but uh, you know, like I said, each team is unique, and they just work really hard to get things uh, accomplished, and they've, they've done a great job of sticking together throughout the year. The Lady Raiders open play Thursday against Richardson Pierce. It'll be 5 o'clock down in San Marcos. Tomorrow, Lady Raider Katie Dudding will sign a letter of intent with North Texas. As for Saturday's football game, heads up. Start time has been moved from 2 to 4 p.m. at Ratliff Stadium in Odessa. Now to a signing today. Uh, Luke Downs, Emerald Day. High, Sandy. inked on the dotted line to play hardball at Texas Tech. He went 9-1 last season. The ERA of 3, 81 strikeouts in 63 innings. Those numbers good enough to get a scholarship with the Red Raiders. This felt right, you know. Uh, I just really wanted to go there, and I've been going there since I was a freshman, and that's pretty much what worked out. So. I talked to Baylor, I talked to TCU a little bit, and a little bit of LSU because my pitching coach helped me out there, but I just really liked what Texas Tech had to offer. So. Just the way they like, to, they like to work hard, you know, and it just seemed like a good fit. Just I like the guys there, and I like the coaches, and everything was perfect. Big 12 baseball, it's big time baseball. Another signing today up in Dumas. Volleyball stand out Alexi Davis, inked with West Texas AM. and Congratulations to her. Speaking of the volleyball bus, they're set for a trip to Warrensburg, Missouri in the regional tournament. WT will take on Arkansas Fort Smith noon Thursday. The WT football team did not get a bid to the D2 playoffs, so the bus will play in the Kansas Bowl on the 27th. WT meets Central Missouri in the third edition of that game. And finally, the NBA owners gave the players a take it or leave it proposal. They left it. They plan to disband the union. And what else take their issues to court? More lawyers get more money. Yeah. And by the way, uh, congratulations to Eddie Belfour, former Dallas Star That's hockey right. uh, goalie. He is inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame today. I think Joe Newendike, too, who now is yeah, the that's manager right. Forget of about Joe, club man. and everything. And, and now all these players are going to be playing someplace else, Europe. Asia, mm -hmm. Australia, wherever they want to play. You know, Europe has an economic issue, but those guys in basketball over there are making lots, lots of money, of too. Money. Yeah. Lots of money. 